Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Land Rover Discovery Sport. Then I'll take you for a ride in it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. That is if I don't freeze to death first. It's a 2 litre TD4 HSE Black Automatic. 2017 on a 67 plate. Has done 39,650 miles there or thereabouts. One registered owner, fuel economy, urban, 44.8 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 60.1 miles per gallon, which I'm sure you'll agree is fantastic for this size of car. Combined is 53.3 miles per gallon. 0 to 60 time of 8.4 seconds. A top speed of 117 miles per hour out of a four cylinder, 178 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. We have the piano black grille, the door mirrors, the little fog lamp insets and the lower grille here. It's got 360 cameras, 360 all round cameras, um, high pressure headlamp wash, front parking sensors, the wing protective mouldings on the side there, piano black wheels as well. I think it's all part of the black pack. This uh, black window surrounds, black roof as well. We've got keyless entry, keyless lock. When you come back to the car, just put your hand behind the door handle and it will open so long as you've got the keys in you. Power folding door mirrors, you'll see underneath there, there's a little camera. So you can switch it from, to see the kerb when you're reversing all round or it's reversing camera as well. Again, the, the sill protector there, rear privacy glass, the full glass panoramic sunroof with the electric shade band inside. Shark fin aerial on the top there. Power open, power close tailgate. The rear seats fold down at the touch of a button, which is on this side. On the other side here, if I can just uh, find it, actually, I'll just put the roller behind rear cover back. Sounds like it's doing something. I have to say that last bit's a bit urgent. Then just. There you go. Power close. That's your reversing camera just in there. Rear parking sensors too, and the twin exhaust tips there. I have to say it's uh, <laughs> very breezy today, so hopefully the sound's not too bad. Um, in the back here, nice um, adult seat, I'd call it. Some of the others are a bit lower down and the, the headrest is right in the middle of your back unless you knock it up. This, this is nice, perforated leather. Lovely in the back here and it's got the kind of Lambswool uh, Land Rover over mats in the back. Uh, power socket there. We've got the Isofix rear child seats, anchor points. Rear armrest, little compartment there. We've got airbags in the A pillar, B pillar, C pillar, D pillar. I forgot to tell you before, there's an airbag at the back of the bonnet in case you knock anybody over and they're, they're coming up the bonnet, that hopefully saves them too. Magazine parcel nets here, uh, three inertia reel rear seat belts, and then we've got the full length panoramic uh, sunroof. Just look in there. Yeah, it's... Uh, it, there's still plastic bits, I probably should have left that on, but it was annoying me. It was blowing in the wind. There's still black plastic bits on the on the lights in, in the back here. So it's it's been really well looked after. It's a lovely car. 
what I didn't notice before, and I'll, I'll try and take a close up of it, is the, the paint. It's uh, obviously pearlescent or at least metallic, and with the sun on it, it really shines. It, it looks beautiful. I'll just take you for riding it. Actually, before I get in, I'll take my coat off. better. Uh, the two Range Rover keys, foot on the brake, start button and that's it, away she goes. Just turn that fan down a bit but the uh, heated seats are on nuclear and uh, let's see. So this is a digital service history. First service, 17th of the 7th 2019 at 20,922 miles. Uh, Farnell Jaguar Bolton, and then the next service, 19th of the 6th, 2021, 35,655 miles, Farnell Jaguar Bolton, and the car's done 39,502 miles now. So we, we've got electric seats, electrically adjustable seats, and here we've got height and reach adjustable multifunction steering wheel. So I just get that down a bit. Sorry, just it's it's absolutely it's a beautiful day, but it's absolutely freezing. My hands are blue. Hang on. God, I need is that. Um, now to put it somewhere where it doesn't rattle. No, it's going to rattle wherever I put it, and it's going to look unsightly there. So I'll put it there for the time being. Try and jam it. And that's it. We've got the rotary control here, which I always say I like, and I, and I do, it, it just makes the cabin, even, even though, <laughs> how to phrase this, um, even though the gear stick there is only like yay big, it just makes the cabin seem bigger, having that rotary control. And I wish Land Rover had stuck to it. And I wish they'd tell Mercedes-Benz about it as well, so they don't put it where the, the wiper stalk should be. Lovely day. Must be collision warning or something. I must have thought I was going to drive into that bit. I told you it'd rattle. Right, okay. That's my cup, it doesn't come with a car. It's a beautiful day, but very, very cold. Um, I, what I should have shown you is the um, 360 cameras, which uh, when, when the sun's in a different direction, I'll try and remember, or we're under a tree, I'll try and remember to show you. But also, um, I will preface the 360 cameras with, we don't guarantee them, not just on uh, Land Rovers, it's on any model, any car that has them. They just don't seem to be, they just don't seem to work, they don't seem to last. They last for a few years, then one of them goes off. It's hardly unsurprising. Um, I've made this analogy before with, the, with my GoPros here. Um, I put a GoPro on the bonnet there, wouldn't go, it's too cold. It's, uh, it, it just kept switching off because it was too cold and uh, these, are, these are action cameras, they're made specifically for winter sports and sticking on the outside of planes and helicopters and, and so on and, and, and I just use them in a, in a car and one outside. The ones inside overheat and the ones outside are too cold, uh, you know, you, you just and the, the three or four hundred quid a piece these cameras and they're just very very frustrating anyway so that, that's the outside cameras it's gone it's gone dark now look are we in a we're in a place where everybody can see us um, I'll just get this bit further here there's the cameras there you go I'll try and uh, hopefully you'll be able to see it now so there's the cameras, we click on that 
and then you can see which camera you want. There you go. I mean, to me, honestly, as I say, when, when they first came out, I thought, what a good idea. And now I just think, what a, what a waste of money. Absolute, you know, the 300 and 300 and odd pounds a piece, I think, the cameras. And there's, there's five of them. They're in the, the wing mirrors or the door mirrors. There's one in the front, one in the back. Um, and to be fair, honestly, I, I mean, I, I know alloy wheels are expensive and so on, but you, you need to take your chances with the alloy wheels. Um, they need to stop making them. It's a, it's a waste of resources. It's a waste of materials. If you're, if you're into global warming and, and stuff, honestly, it, it's just, it's, it's getting beyond the joke for us now. So that's not just Land Rover, it's, it's everybody who does these 360 cameras. The car is fantastic. I really like the Discovery. I think it, my favorite car is Range Rover Sport. I think the Discovery, the two liter, um, actually drives better than the three liter Range Rover Sport. I don't know what, I can't put my finger on it. I'm, I'm not a, a brilliant engineer, which is why I'm selling cars. <laughs> but um, I would assume that somehow, whether be, I'm assuming it, it is coincidence, the weight of the car, the exact weight of the car uh, is married to the gearbox, is married to the engine, brake horsepower or, and everything. That as, as it changes gear, the weight of the car must push it forward into a very, 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 uh, what's that, kinetic energy, um, pushes it forward into a very, very, certain death corner. Why would you drive around a corner at that speed? It's beyond me, but anyway, they do. So, everything married together, it's just, when, when you accelerate and, and you, you become aware of it straight away, it's just seamless. All Range Rovers, all Land Rovers, the gearboxes are great, the engines are, are pretty good in my opinion, um, and the way they drive is, is really, really good. But somehow this is just, um, ab you know, it's a, it's a, to me it's a hundred percent. So I I really like uh, I really really like these discoveries. The suspension's great as well. Typical, you know, Land Rover will do anything. And uh, whereas most things, you know, all, things that are made to do a broad spectrum of things instead of specific like a very fast time on the on around the Nürburgring or something like that this will do anything you can you can you can go and feed those sheep over there if you want through the fields and it'll get you there and back you can drive from here to the to the south of France in, in comfort with your family and safety there's so all these airbags even one in the in the bonnet um, for, for other people there's <laughs> benefit really um, The suspension is as good on the motorway as it is on this country lane, which again you can't say that about a lot of vehicles. It's, it's just a very, very nice vehicle. Here, here we go. We've got powerful door mirrors. We've got Land Rover Cruise Control, and the cruise control on Land Rovers, I always say it's very, very simple and uh, you just click that and that's it it's on so long as you're at the desired speed click it and it and cruises on no switching it on and then setting it with the minus and and that just one button and then you can adjust it with the plus and minus um, this is also a speed limiter here there is uh, it has got lane departure warning which has got to be the most useless invention ever, apart from the electronic handbrake. I mean, it's, it's just, I, I just can't see a use for it at all. I, I, 
if you don't know that you're going out of the lane yourself, you shouldn't be on the road. But anyway, there's the, the off switch is down there, but it's, it's, it's right next to the boot opener, I think, which will only, let, let me just try it. Yeah, it, it, it'll, only, it'll only open when the ignition switched off, no doubt, which is a good thing, because you, you don't want all your luggage flying out the back when you're just switching your lane departure off. Got sat nav. So somebody's come to grief there. Bits of uh, what looks like a Halford spoiler. No doubt somebody uh, driving faster than their uh, talent will allow them. We'll go, we'll go back here. The the. That looks like a steering wheel to me. <laughs> anyway, it's not, it's your navigation. And so you've got Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming in the front center armrest. In there, you've got USB, a power socket, an auxiliary in. Nice and simple system to use. Again, all, all here, you can pretty much use everything without looking down. Uh, you've got your heated seats there, which I can now turn down. Here's your driver's side, your passenger side. Your air con switch is your first one from the middle. So again, muscle memory, uh, your front end, sorry. Front windscreen, heated, brilliant. Rear windscreen, and that's your fan in the middle. No, no having to look for a, a little a little button here on some cars. How it is, um, where you, you have to, it's smaller than your finger, and you have to like <laughs> look away and, and to get your fan, or it comes up on the dash when you click a button, and just fantastic cars. We've got. We're, we're trying to move towards selling Range Rovers and Land Rovers, um, and we must be doing a good job. But the only thing is, we're converting people from Range Rovers to Land Rovers, and then we're taking other cars in swap, um, which aren't necessarily the, the product we want to sell. But anyway, it's uh, it's all business, and uh, we're uh, enlightening people slowly but surely fantastic cars just so comfortable it really is just like driving your armchair through the country if we just press that down and flip over that puts it into sport and you can then change I mean look at that it's a, it's a great engine We've got paddle shift here so down on the left hand side up on the right hand side but I don't think I've ever put my Range Rover into sport. There's just no need. So just here, you've got your terrain response, you've got hill descent, stop start there. So that's auto stop start off. Why anybody again would invent a button that makes pulling out on a roundabout suicidal? I'll never know. Just, just great. And the the, the dash, left hand side is the speedo. Right hand side, rev counter. In the second is your information display. Is it the second in the centre? is your information display. So we can just change at the bottom there. See, menu, if I click the menu, that's changing, that's driver assistance. Again, we've got collision avoidance. So we'll click that over there. That's 
there's a tick in there so that warns you lane departure warning you can switch it on from here as well as I say it you really really shouldn't need lane departure warning you know and I can only imagine it's built for people who drive along texting and then you get some because as I say there's no way it'd wake you up and it, there's, there's just a like a little vibration comes through the steering wheel and I, I actually wonder how much electricity that device will waste in the future uh, it would be colossal because unless you indicate that you're turning right or turning left and you go over a, a line it'll give you the warning and shake your electric power steering but what's the point of indicating when there's nothing behind you or nothing in front of you so in an electric car you've charged it all night to, to waste it by indicating to people and if you don't indicate then the car wastes it yourself by shaking the steering wheel so just imagine that on all the electric cars in the future they'll have to build extra windmills out there just for people who have lane departure warning it's uh, it does seem incredibly stupid to me although, although not quite as stupid as not looking where you're going <laughs> I'll put the hill descent on round here just show you I'm pretty sure that you you already know but if I if I stop here and then we put the hill descent on hill descent on now that's taking control now I, I haven't got I've nothing on I'm not touching the accelerator not touching the brake and we're not rolling away without hill descent there we go that's off and there we go we're picking up speed and I and I have tried these off-road as well and it, it helps coming down a, a grassy verge so the get the engine braking was holding us back a, a lot there but now of course when it's when it's overcome the engine braking you, you're running away so hill descent that's that's a good invention So not uh, the clocks went back the other day in the UK. We've got an extra hour in bed, and now it's pitch black at three o'clock in the afternoon. So let's just say, I'll, I'll pull over. Otherwise, I'll be getting people reporting me. It's amazing how little people have to do that. <laughs> Watch things on the internet here. Um, actually, home, media, phone, go down, climate, low traction launch. Oh, low traction launch. I never noticed that before. All right, okay, good system time and date time and date there 1141 it's 1041 that's it so that that's how you that's how you change the the clock it's 1041 now need to turn the heater down here the i'm thoroughly warm now after being like a block of ice before just low flying there very comfortable car nice big armrest in the center here it's uh, this nice flat top. We've got that deployable tow bar. 
tow bars <laughs> they're just horrible spoil the back end of the car completely handy uh, when somebody parks near your car that who hasn't got parking sensors and reverses into you but apart from that and you press a button and it goes away Suspension is so good. Again, thanks to one of my uh, subscribers and contributors. That, that's where the hairy bikers stopped a, a few weeks ago to get a bait and butty. There's normally a bait and butty van there, and it's a good bait and butty van too. I, I, <laughs> they're obviously connoisseurs. Nice high up driving position. And you know when uh, you know when you're looking for directions and uh, you, you turn the radio down. Well, driving one of these because you're more relaxed. You don't necessarily tend to do things like that. And uh, it, it's, it's just so relaxing. You just, you, you feel indestructible. Of course, I, I wouldn't like to chance it by rolling down there, but you know, if I did, I could put my hill descent on. Great colour combination. I, I must admit, I do like with the, with the sun. I'm glad it was sunny today because with the sun on this paintwork, I, I must check. But it's it, uh, I thought it, I just thought it was white, uh, and that was it, flat white. But it's not. It's uh, it's a lovely colour. lots of water splashes as well great acceleration for the size of the car and very very smooth too have I forgotten anything probably loads meridian speakers that's what I've forgotten they're uh, fantastic. Let me just switch the. Let me just switch it on the radio on. Or, well, a, a, a song on. What song? Uh, there we go. We'll, we'll do it this way. What song can I switch on? Oh blame me! I've had my. Uh, I've had my phone next to my microphone. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not interfered with it, which sometimes it does. It sends out this pulsing signal. Right. Music. Now we we had that one the other day, so we don't want that. Um, right, uh, I know what. We'll turn that down. Down here, search. That's it. Right. onto audio that's the song I'm going to play it's on pause so get this turn it up there you go thanks for watching see you in the next video great car love it